letter for this one. You don't need a finger one to do this, okay? Now, this is not the CMC joint, okay? A lot of people mess up on this and they'll put their line up right here, okay? You gotta find it. And there it is. And you might have to do the motions here to get it lined up right. Am I hurting you? I just look weird. I'm a very strong palpator. Okay, so if I have her in full supination here, again, make sure you can find that joint. So that tells you automatically where your axis is going to be lined up. Now, I want this to be relaxed and I want it to be here in adduction, right? And I want it to be out here. I want it to just be relaxed and, and here at zero degrees of abduction. So adducted next to the hand here, okay? That's the first one, okay? Now, the infill here is going to vary. Some are soft, some are firm, okay? It just depends on the patient. And, not, and either one can be normal, just like we talked about earlier, all right? The axis here, at this, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> at this joint and you're going to place it over here and where's your stationary arm not along here but along the radius so you got to make sure you're lined up on the anterior midline of the radius okay what is your point of reference for that radius alloy process and radial head okay so don't do this just you make sure you're lined up on the radius. I'm just telling you the things that people mess up on in the test. Okay, where should my moving arm be, Tasha? Um, the first metacarpal. The first metacarpal, okay. So I, I wanna get a zero start, okay? So this is my zero start, so I might have to fix my alignment just a little bit over my joint here so I might have to make sure I'm fully adducted, okay? Because this is zero start. And now, what is she gonna do? What am I gonna flex? The thumb. Right, which is this way, uh, okay? All right, so it's not a whole lot. You're not counting this. You're only counting what's going on down here. And down here, if I'm really looking at that, I'm getting 12 degrees. That's it? You're almost there. Like for, like, well, I could probably, I am push her to 15. I'm trying not to poke her too hard. Okay. I've already dotted her up. <laughs> Zero to 15 degrees. So it's only. Her infield is soft. She has quite a thenar eminence here that is stopping the movement. She's got some beefy muscles. Thenar eminence, is that what you said? I said the thenar eminence. Trying to use appropriate terminology to help you practice for your test. Okay, all right. Simple, right? But if you get in here and you line this up and then you're like, oh, and you follow this joint over here and this finger and this thumb, you're gonna go, oh, I've got like 45. She's got so much. It's not CMC flexion. All right. So to do CMC extension, you start up back at your alignment the same way, and then we're going to go backwards. Now make sure this is relaxed here and this is relaxed here, but you're gonna start at zero and you're gonna take her back. Now, make sure that you are lined up and you're truly looking at that motion. Now she has zero to 25 degrees, which what should it be? 20. Okay. Now, what are you seeing as a trend with Amber? The more you go one way, the less the more. She has more one way, less the other way. So it all kind of balances out for her and that's her norm. Is that how most people are? Like, yeah, in, the, in, this, in this area, yeah. They'll have range more one way, less the other way. She does have a firm infill there. That's it for flexion and extension. Mm -hmm. For abduction, okay, yes. Hey, anybody wanna take up that? Retake that lab test and the, the lab test.